So Kevin, another hot topic these days is company culture. And as you mentioned in previous video, people first. So what do you think about that? Or what can you tell us more? And why still companies put profit first than people? Oh, wow. Um, this is a great question, Maher. And, and this could be a 30, 45 minute topic on this conversation alone, but, but we'll, we'll condense it. You, you know, first off, we live in a world where we've now realized it's, it's really bad to say we don't care for our people, right? I mean, if, if a leader comes out and says that, they're shunned. So a lot of people say we're people first. Uh, you know, I host a podcast. I had a conversation with Jonathan Raymond, who wrote a book. Um, I'll have to think of the name of the book that Jonathan wrote. But Jonathan wrote this book about uh, people first. And it's really about what it truly means. And it's one of the biggest lies in the marketing world now, right? So many companies, well, I have a friend that just last week left a company because it was such a toxic culture and he had been sold on the job that it was a people first culture. Mm -hmm. We value our people. It's so easy to say, mm -hmm. it's much harder to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if you are saying you're people first, Make sure that it's not an empty promise. Make sure it's not, you've just jumped on the bandwagon because it's popular to be. And, and you think, oh yeah, we want to be a great place to work. We want to put people first. All of these things, because that's what it takes for us to attract great talent. Yes. Now, what it really takes is for you to fulfill the promises you make to the people during the, the you know, onboarding, the interviewing and onboarding process. Do you really show up and fulfill the promises that you made to new employees through that process? So uh, people first, what, what does it mean? It really does mean that I care for you as an individual. I value you as an individual. I get to know you as an individual. And I, I treat you differently. I, I just don't have one way that I approach and treat everybody in the company. We get to know what, how people are different. Uh, I get to know about you and your environment. Hey, on, on Monday mornings, one of the questions I ask is, tell me about your weekend. Mm -hmm. And I'm really interested, right? It's not like, tell me about your weekend. And I've got this, I've got three questions that I ask everybody over the course of the week. And I don't really listen. No, I, I'm asking because I really care. I want to know. Yes. And I think that with all these uh, people or managers, these they are very much focused on the money or reaching the quarter or they, they're losing sight that without the people working there, the company will not exist. Right. But here, I believe, and, and I, I, I really got this from my dad. I don't know if he ever said it, these words, but I, I just learned every business is a people business. Yes. Every business. Well, you, you may not even have employees. You may be a, a one-person enterprise, but you're still a people business because you serve customers. Or, or you may be a supplier of other suppliers, right? You, you are just a wholesale manufacturer, but you, you deal with people. And we know that companies don't do business with other companies. People in companies do business with people in other companies. Yes. And we do business with people, and, and this phrase you've heard, I'm sure, that we know, like, and trust. Yes. So it really is a relationship business. So people first care, genuinely care mm -hmm. for people. And if you don't care for people, you're really going to struggle to be a people first organization. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And for the audience watching, if you have any other comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Kevin.